This is a quick analysis of the character Mr. Hyde from Jekyll and Hyde. In this video, you will see a short extract and you will see how you might write about it using quotes and technical terminology. Mr. Hyde is evil. He has no good in him. He is violent and dangerous. He is cunning and clever. He is only one part of a fully formed person. In this extract, Mr. Utterson has gone looking for Mr. Hyde because he is suspicious of his association with Dr. Jekyll. Mr. Hyde is described as pale and dwarfish. He gave an impression of deformity without any nameable malformation. He had a displeasing smile. After meeting him, Mr. Utterson is left feeling disgusted. Hyde is never given agency in the book. The reader only learns about him through other characters. In this extract, Mr. Utterson reflects on his first meeting with Hyde. Utterson embodies the perfect Christian gentleman and is used by Stevenson as a contrasting counterpoint to highlight Hyde's evil nature. Hyde gives an impression of deformity without any nameable malformation, because the deformity is internal. Utterson exclaims that Hyde seems hardly human, because he is not fully human. He is only the evil part of Dr. Jekyll. Utterson's use of biblical allusion with the sibilant Satan signature is a dramatic hyperbole, and would have been especially shocking to a Victorian reader, leaving them in no doubt regarding Hyde's evil soul. It is important not to think of Hyde as an individual character, but as a part of Jekyll, and by extension, a part of all of us. Sins committed in secret encourage the evil part of humanity to grow stronger. Only by recognising our lesser urges can we control them. Stevenson illustrates how repression is not sustainable, and will ultimately lead to eruptions of violence and death. If you are interested in personalised tuition for AQA English Language or Literature, please visit the website which is shown on screen and in the description box below. Thanks for watching.